What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Jess and welcome to my kitchen or rather a photograph of my kitchen. Today we are in voiceover land and that is because I did not get to film my pizza video this week. But I promise it will be here next week with hopefully a Halloween theme because we are nearing October, which is super exciting. My sister came into town to visit. She got back from Thailand not too long ago. She had some gifts with her and we got to catch up and had a really good time the past three days. So that is kind of where the video went. <laughs> so I've got this Korean taco recipe that I'd like to share with you all. I think it's um, probably one of the best things you'll ever eat. And I guarantee that if you give it a try, you will cook it over and over again and it will become a staple like it has in my household. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do make new videos every week. I am really trying hard to stay on top of that um, promise to you all. So yeah, let's just jump right in and get started with this great Korean taco recipe I've got for you. Alright, so first all you do is chop up all your ingredients, which I will have listed on screen and posted in the description box below. Measure out all your liquid ingredients and you stir it up in a bowl. <laughs> and then all you do is you will brown some either hamburger meat, ground turkey, um, I prefer veggie, ground beef crumbles, that's what I go for. Once you've heated your meat in a pan, you go ahead and throw the... Um, sauce on top of that and let it cook down for a few minutes until it gets to whatever consistency you prefer. I prefer mine just a little bit thicker. And once you've got it heated up nicely in the pan and it's cooked to the consistency that you like, all you do is either take a taco shell, I like a lettuce cup, I use the living lettuce, the butter lettuce stuff, and you put some of that filling into one of your shells and then you add kimchi. If you've never had kimchi before, you really need to try it and you really can't leave it out of this recipe. It's not the same if you don't put the kimchi in. I promise you'll like it. It is fermented, not the cabbage, but it's really, 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 really tasty. So make sure you add the kimchi. I also like to throw in chopped, sliced, I mean, jalapeno, fresh jalapeno. Um, if you have a little leftover green onion, sprinkle that on there as well. And that's pretty much it. I like to use the lettuce cups because I can eat more when I eat the lettuce cups. So you don't fill up as quick because you're going to want to keep going back for more. It's that good. It'll keep you coming back for more. So if you guys do wind up making this recipe, please make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Um, tag me on Instagram with some photos. I'd love to see that at Plague Beauty. Um, I really think this will be a hit for you guys. It's so good. It's something we make all the time. It's it's a staple. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a great big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I promise new videos every single week. And thank you guys so much for being here. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.